Welcome to the Pocatello Business Podcast, the only Pocatello podcast focused on providing profits for Pocatello people. If you love our town and love small business, you are in the right place. We interview local legends, learn business, and have way too much fun doing it. You're listening to the Pocatello Business Podcast with your friend, host, all-around great guy, and owner of New Clean Commercial Cleaning, Spencer Ward. All right, everyone. Welcome back to the Pocatello Business Podcast. Uh, today, man, I want to I want to start off with a parable I learned and I heard at church, and it was so so awesome that uh, I want to share with you guys because uh, the gal that told it was 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 very good at uh, uh, getting to the point with this parable. And uh, you know, if you're if you're if you're a Christian or not, um, teaching in parables is easier to understand. Uh, that's why Christ taught in parables because it was easier for his followers to understand so it starts off his parable with you know a, a son and his widow uh mother that uh don't have a lot you know they have a, a small small tiny little farm um one milk cow and uh they literally eat by every year just by the skin of their teeth and uh one year after a drought where they literally, literally barely squeak by, and this is them not living too hot. Uh, the boy, the son learned of a wise man uh, coming to the village uh, nearby. And he said to his mom, hey, why don't I come go down and talk to this wise man? And he can tell us exactly, uh, we, we can bring him up here and he can tell us how we can uh, better our lives and how to how to uh, make a a better situation for ourselves. Uh, So he goes down and uh, he talks to the wise man is able to get in contact with him and says, will you come up and talk to us? Look at our situation and come talk to us. And uh, he agreed and and a day or so later he comes up and he he meets his his widow uh, mother and the boy shows him around. They're very meek existence. And uh, tells them this is our only cow. This is our only thing that's really keeping us alive. And what the wise man does, he, t- he ties a little lead rope around the cow. He walks him up o- over to a cliff and then pushes that cow off the cliff. And as you can imagine, the mother and the boy freak out. And they're thinking, you literally just got rid of the only thing that was keeping us alive. And uh, she got the, uh, the gal that was talking to us about this parable. Uh, at the end of this, she helped us to understand, okay, what's, what's our cow? And that's something that I want to talk about today. What's, what's the cow that's holding us back? But the story goes on, okay? Um, so the, the, the wise man says, listen, I'm going to come back in a year, in a year's time. And I'm going to come check, check on you and your mother. So a year, <clears throat> a year goes by, he comes back and he notices this big home on the hill. And he says to the villagers, who, who is this? Who's, whose home is this? This beautiful home over here. And, and the villagers say, it's, it's, the, you know, it's the, the widower and, that, and, and her son. So of course he walks up to the, to the house and uh, says, I don't know if you remember me. And they said, oh yes, oh yes, we remember you. And uh, the wise man said, okay, what happened? And what, what, how are you able to, to do this? And how are you able to get this, this beautiful home and, and uh, be living the way you're living right now? And they said, once our cow was kicked off that cliff, that was the only thing that was keeping us alive. We had to kind of rethink the way we were doing things and be more creative and, and come up with other ways to, to keep ourselves alive. And that brought out a whole nother way of thinking and and their creativity just went crazy and they were able to be more successful because they didn't have that crutch of that one cow that they were just they were they were eking by but they were that was their comfort zone that was where they were comfortable at okay as long as we can keep this cow fed and watered he's going to give us just enough to survive instead of now having the cow gone and thinking okay how else how are we going to do this 
So now in, <clears throat> in all of our lives, what's that cow in all of our lives or our team's lives uh, that's, that's holding us back? Um, you know, in my, my personal story, uh, while I was starting <clears throat> New Clean, uh, my, my cleaning company, I was also working uh, part-time quite a bit for my uh, family business. Uh, and that was, that was, you know, I was comfortable. I wasn't, I wasn't, you know, living right. You know, I wasn't living the, the lap of luxury by any means, but I was, you know, I was paying my bills, you know, nothing fantastic going on. But uh, what happened is that family business went away and that cow got pushed off a cliff. And now I had to realize, okay, I, I've got to jump full feet into this business <clears throat> where I'm going to starve. And that's what helped um, push me to go further and to, to grow the business. Uh, and then on top of all this, uh, as I was growing the business, I, I also started doing some uh, commercial real estate on the side. And, and that started taking up more and more of my time. And then my, my business, Nuclean, started to you know, be stagnant and, and start to plateau. And I started thinking again, like, man, you know, this is, this is nice. This real estate's nice. I'm making some commissions here and there, but it's, you know, not regular income. And again, I had to think to myself after three to four years of being in real estate, ah, I gotta, I've got to push this cow off the cliff. So I, I turned in and uh, put my real estate license on inactive. And again, jump full, fully into to new clean again. And uh New clean because of that and that because of that full attention and and uh, the ability for me to have all my creative thinking going straight to one source was able to to flourish and, and to continue to grow. You know, it's you know I'm still not living the lap of luxury. I'm doing a lot better than I was, and that is the moral of the story. What is what is your crutch? What is the cow that you need to push off the cliff? Um, you know, as I think about this a lot and. Uh, you know, and, and also in the Sunday school class, uh, they talked about goal setting. You know, how many of us, and I, I know I don't have the best goals uh, for some of these categories um, or the way I think about it. You know, I have goals that every year I sit down with and they're measurable goals. Uh, they broke them down in these four categories, which is an uh, easier way for me to understand. So that, do you have any goals uh, for your intellectual growth? Do you have any goals for your physical growth or physical <laughs> losing, maybe some losing some weight or maybe some spiritual growth. Do you have any goals set for that or some social growth? You know, maybe it's all about spending more time uh, with your kids, jumping on the trampoline with them more. You know, uh, for example, uh, last, last night, uh, Monday is kind of our, our time that we, we spend more and more time with as a family. And uh, my kids were, you know, Hey, dad, come out to the trampoline, come wrestle with us. They love wrestling. And, and my boys love it. I throw them around, toss them all over the place. And now my girls love it too. I'm a, little, a lot more gentler with my girls than I am with my boys. But uh, I was thinking, you know, I just got done making dinner. I was starting to clean up. I'm like, guys, I don't really have time. And I see all them go out and start jumping and having fun. And I just think to myself, you know what? I got I to gotta jump both full, full feet in these kids you know i'm not gonna have too much more time with these kids under me under under my rule roof roof and uh I, I went out took my shoes off and i threw those kids around you know i put the put the world of pain on them <laughs> but uh no i love i love my kids but it, that's just one of those social goals that i have is to be able to spend more time whether it be wrestling with them or or are playing a basketball with them in our backyard or riding bikes with them or playing dolls with my daughters. That's a huge social goal I have for myself. And I, I treat that time as gold now. And I literally try to, my best uh, option on my phone I, I see now in the evenings is airplane mode. And that helps me to accomplish some of those social goals and even some uh, my other goals as well. But intellectual goals, you know, do I have any books I'm trying to read? Uh, and I've got some from uh, Russell Brunson, the owner of ClickFunnels, I'm trying to read to become a better marketer myself. Um, physical goals, of course, you guys all know I'm trying to lose some weight. Those LBs, they can continue to plague everyone, uh, especially me. So I'm trying to do that. And then my spiritual goals, of course, you know, I'm Christian. I'm a God-fearing man. Uh, I, I love to read my scriptures in the morning. 
and I just feel more well-rounded. So those are the goals. If you guys are looking for a way to better your life and to and to to kick that cow off the the cliff, maybe start thinking of, of some of these goals in those four quadrants: the intellectual, the physical, the spiritual, the social. Uh, there's more to being a good businessman than just going there and being creative and and uh, getting deals done. Uh, you got to you got to be more well-rounded and uh, kicking that cow off the cliff is necessary in any case because we all get comfortable to a certain degree and it's important to 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 take that cow and not just tip him off that cliff just throw him off that cliff and come to start to realize what you can accomplish and what how much more is available to you if you can think outside that box. So that would be my message today is throw that cow off the cliff, set your, your four quadrant goals. Uh, and that's, that's, that's the big one today, guys. Uh, as always, Dell's Outdoor Advertising are always there to sponsor us. Uh, we're picking up some more sponsors this upcoming couple of weeks. Uh, so we'll have some more sponsors as well. Uh, but if you need a billboard called Call Rob at uh, Dell's Outdoor Advertising. Mention the podcast. They'll give you a month for free or your or your installation for free with a three month in, uh, uh, agreement. And uh, until next time, guys, continue to subscribe. Give me a nice uh, rating and review, and uh, share these episodes around. If, if this is something that uh, appeals to you and something you can relate with, especially this episode, uh, share it. You know, let's let's continue to push this along and help other people. Uh, pr provide more profits for them and their company and their teams. So you guys have an awesome day and we'll chat with you all later. Bye. Congratulations on spending a couple minutes getting just a little bit smarter, having some fun and supporting the Pocatello business community. If you are feeling the love, make sure to subscribe, rate and review on iTunes, Stitcher or wherever you are.